using our relief map, we're trying to picture them as they talk and work their way up to the tip of cone, to the rim of cone. You can hear they're winded. They're working their way up this slope. About a 300-foot incline from the lower area down by Station B, up around the flanks and the top of cone. Medium cooling for a minute. Okay, and Alan, Ed, uh, why don't we take a little uh, rest here for a minute, uh, and uh, we'd uh, like another camp account, too. Capcom Fred Hayes telling them to rest. They're sounding winded. Like a what? We haven't taken any pictures since the last one, I don't think. Okay, Ed. They've been sounding winded, carrying that load as they okay, work their we'll way up this area. Okay, we'll slow down the uh, traverse here. Jules, maybe we ought to point out that uh, the pointer there somewhat okay. distorts the uh, size you know, of these craters and so forth. Right They're really here. quite immense. Right. Uh, varying in size, Frank, from the 1,000 feet across the diameter of cones from wall to wall to smaller ones like flank that are about 250 feet across to some of these, they look like minute ones. They are, are out of scale in relation to the pointer. Smaller craters, 20, 40, 60 feet in diameter, many of them fresh. This is the, these two craters here, by the way, are the ones we think Mitchell just talked about when he mentioned fresh impact craters. Well, Al uh, Shepard uh, some time ago mentioned that the uh, edge of the uh, cone crater stretches off to the far horizon. So it's, it's a big one. That's toward where we think, Mike. Uh, I'll pull for a while, Al. That's the guy I got for us. It wasn't quite clear exactly what he was seeing, Frank, whether he meant this edge and yes. rim of Shepherd cone or the far one. Yeah, well, while the astronauts are taking a uh, we rest, we'll take a break. Picture. We'll have more on Apollo 14 right after this message. away. And yet Earth's nearest neighbor in space. Man has fed his imagination on it since the beginnings. Now he has set foot there, leaving his tracks in the lunar quiet. And with him, Tang, the orange-flavored instant breakfast drink with more vitamin C than orange juice. Nutritious Tang for spacemen and Earth families. In New York, uh, as we told you before, the live television camera that is positioned uh, on the lunar surface uh, cannot show at this point uh, just where the astronauts are working. They're moving up to the edge of Cone Crater. So what we're trying to do here with our relief map that we have uh, set up in the studio, and Jules is manipulating that pointer, uh, we're allowing you to listen to the conversation of the uh, astronauts as they report to Houston, and you can actually follow their progress. This map is very faithfully uh, reconstructed according to the uh, known detail of the lunar surface and uh, as you look at it you can get a very good idea of just exactly how they're moving along and uh, Frank, our to some eight extent by what they're seeing right yes Joe. with this 8 by 12 foot uh, lunar relief map which has been used for visual simulation by NASA at the manned spacecraft center and made available to us we're kind of doing one and a half dimensional uh, visual tracking if you will since the the actual Westinghouse camera the astronauts are using can't follow them all the way out. To recap and reestablish where, where we are and what's going on, they set out about an hour ago from the lunar module Antares site here, near doublet crater, triplet crater on this size, worked their way over here up to station A, 1,300 feet away, then another 500 feet to station B, then began to work their way up the slope of uh, uh, Cone Crater if uh, Camera three can get a little lower here. You can see some of the actual height and terrain relief. That's very good. This is an incline. Uh, if th this were zero feet, which, uh, which of course it is not, uh, they've climbed about 250 feet so far. They have another 150 to go up to the tip, the tip, and the rim of cone. They're coming a beam of flank crater. They take a, just ending a brief rest period, sounding somewhat winded if we track it right. Let's uh, crank into their air to ground for a second and see if we can position them again uh, with our visual relief map. Okay. So Al Shepard, as they come out of this little rest break that Capcom uh, Fred Hayes advised them to take. Yeah, just one second, though. I think I got it. 
and they should be within a few hundred feet of the rim. a little bit out of scale, uh, distorting the size, but it shows you where they are. This is flank right the here, passing on the north side, this side. Uh, Roger out, copy. Which leaves them about just leaves them about 500 feet more to go. They'll go around this direction up to the rim of cone, then work their way around here before heading down. These are some of those automobile-sized boulders they plan to throw down into rim. Both uh, Shepard Mitchell heart rates uh, going up to about 120 uh, while they were traveling uphill. Put them out away. Okay. Just putting them out away. higher rates uh, this occasioned uh, the rest stop. We're at uh, 100. Okay. We're at uh, 133 hours, 34 minutes of ground lapse time. Uh, better, you, you're back, better. Okay, I'll try again. How do you read that? Okay, it's much better. You got a background wheel. Okay, uh, evidently that uh, station switch uh, gave us some problems. I, uh, I've been copying uh, both of you all the way, though. We have you now uh, just passing flank. Flank being right in here, as depicted on our visual relief map. That heart rate of 120 a minute means they're both pumping, working very hard, under the physical okay, uh, load of climbing the slope. Here, uh, most of the time, and I have you uh, by a uh, flank now. He and Shepard have about 450 feet more to go before reaching the rim of cone up here. Now let's just uh, help you with the climb there. Uh, it helps a little bit. Al's picked up the back. Al's got the back of the mat now and we're carrying it up. I think it seems easier. That's right. That's right. And that must be a steep incline. There are two guys here that figured you'd carry it up. But there's two guys sitting next to me here that kind of figured you'd end up carrying it up. Got a little roll along here, except we just move faster carrying it. The rim being so steep that it's easier and faster for Shepard okay, and Mitchell just to carry their lunar okay. golf cart or rickshaw between them. Uh, this is the first big bowl that we've seen, Houston. Uh, I think this is 
That's worth all taking a picture of it with the close-up. And they're somewhere in this area where the boulders begin to get larger on this plateau slope near the tip of rim. As the astronauts make their way up to the top of the Cone Crater, we'll pause for a moment. We'll have more on Apollo 14 right after this message. Mission, it's the goal that they've been striving for, and when they get there, they'll have not only a tremendous view, but they're also uh, going to be able to tell us a good deal about that most interesting feature of the lunar landscape. And Terra's has been on the moon for 24 hours and 46 minutes. Actually, this EVA has been underway for almost two hours at this point, and it's probably going to last a total of about five hours. We want to go back now to our uh, uh, relief map here so that we can give you some idea of exactly where the astronauts are, and we'll listen to their conversation. Could the planet better? And we're hearing Al Shepard oh, describe he and Ed Mitchell at the top of the rim of Khan Crater in this area. cooling rate on their backpacks. Now they're lowering it again. Just right straight up is the best way to go. Big part. Right straight up is the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Working hard, they'd raise the cooling rate on their backpacks. Now they're lowering it again. Just right straight up is the best way to go. Big part. Right straight up is the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure that was playing. 
think we were out about to go either. Wait a minute. Yes, yes. The rim's right here. That's the, uh, that's the east, um, And you can hear them breathing hard. Running down from the cone. That blank over there. 